What's up guys, this is Scooter here with Macintosh Tips, and today I have an application review for you. It's called an application called Genius. Now Genius is a flashcard based application, so basically you can make your own flashcards and study them right inside the application on your Mac. Very, very helpful. Instead of just carrying around flashcards, you've got them basically on your Mac. I like this application, it's simple, hopefully you'll like it, so let me go ahead and share it with you. Alright, it's located here in my dock. It's called Genius. As you see, it has a picture of Albert Einstein there. Pretty fitting for the application. Go ahead and click it. Alright, so Genius is opening up. As you see, it's basically a blank interface right now. No questions, no answers. But I've already saved some questions and answers, so I'm going to go ahead and import those. Go to File, go to Open Recent, go to Summer Facts. Boom, they're open just like that. So now, as you see, I have questions and answers here. Alright, and at the top, there's a menu bar. Uh, at the bottom and the middle, there are my questions and flashcards, and at the bottom is just some more uh, items. So let me go ahead and talk about all this, then we'll get into the study, and then I'll get to some preferences. Alright, so at the top, you see study, and then you see the slider for learn and review. These go hand in hand, alright? Study, obviously you go ahead and jump right into the flashcards, start answering the questions. Next, you have learn and review. Now, on learn and review, uh, it's pretty much the slider kind of dictates your study. Alright, so if I go more towards the learn, it'll give me more of the answer. It'll give me more uh, of the answers up front. Alright, so it'll give me the answer to 2 plus 2. It'll give me the answer to Mac or PC. It'll give me the answer so I don't have to answer them. I'm just kind of learning them in my head, kind of memorizing. If I go to review, now it's time for me to answer the questions. Okay, so I'll leave it back in the middle just to show you both of them. But it depends on your preference, I guess, when you download the application. Do you want to learn the facts first and then review them, or do you just want to go ahead and jump into the review? All right. Uh, info and notes, they also go hand in hand, and they go hand in hand with the middle. Now, in the middle, you see I have question, I have answer, and then I have the score. The score varies from red, a bright orange, and then green. Red means I really haven't answered it enough. Yellow means I'm kind of answering it. I've answered the question right a couple times, so I'm getting ready for it. And then green means I've answered it beyond five times, and it should be like I know it already. All right. And on the left-hand side of the check marks, all right, when I go to study my flashcards, if I have a really good green one, I can throw that one out of the bunch and just study the ones that I don't know or study the ones that I know. All right. So info and notes. So I'm going to click one of these. All right. And if I click info, I have this little slider come out, and it has question, it has the answer, and it has the type. So this is in the fun facts category. So now I know what type of question it is as well. And you can go ahead and go in here and edit as well. All right. So um, if I go click info, the slider goes back in. If I click notes down at the bottom, there are notes about the question. So Mac or PC, the answer is Mac. I have notes about it. Mac's design and their operating system is way better. If you put these two categories together, then you understand my reasoning of why I say Mac is better than PC. So as you see, I can have notes down here at the bottom, just like that. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Everything's right there with a click of a button, guys. Uh, I don't know how else to explain it. Um, down here at the bottom, you can add new questions by basically clicking this plus button. It's very simple. Here's a question category. I can make up a new question. Um, which fruits are red? All right, and I can say apples and strawberries. All right, boom. So now I've got that all worked out. I've got that all worked out. Got a new question in. As you see, it's red in both categories. All right. Now this column over here, where it says score, this is basically how I want the question to be asked. Whether I want the question to be asked from answer to question or from question to answer. Basically, how you do this, you go up to view in the menu bar, and you can click which one. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and just go question to answer and not answer the question. All right. Now again, basically, it's all in your preference. How do you want the questions? To, how do you want the flashcards to work? All right. So now that I'm all set up, I'm gonna go ahead and study. Let's wish me luck. So I click the basic study button. It brings up the menu, and boom! Now I can start to answer the questions. How many continents are there? And basically, I click the answer. I click seven. Hit enter. It'll go to the next question. All right. Now I've just entered this question, so I haven't been able to answer it. Haven't been able to learn it. So it's gonna go ahead and go through it one more time. Which fruits are red? Apples and strawberries. Click in OK. How many new drivers? 2,000. Fruits are red. Strawberries or apples and strawberries. All right. Willis Tower. Who's the first president? George Washington. Let's say I get the answer wrong. All right. Let's say I go ahead and say Barack Obama. All right. 
get the question wrong, boom, hit enter. It'll let me know that I've got it wrong. Or well, it'll it'll bring up the answer because it'll notify that hey, that's what that's what's not in the system. So who was the first president? George Washington, Barack Obama. All right, so I can skip this. All right, so it won't show up on my scorecard. I can lie and say I did get it right. All right, or I can say no, I didn't get it right. So it's pretty much an integrity game there. I'm gonna go ahead and click no, I didn't get it right. All right, rich fruits are red, strawberries, and uh, apples. All right. Boom, it goes right, doesn't matter which order. Who was the first president? Now, I like this application because if it notices you got a question wrong, it keeps bringing it back up, and that's pretty helpful as well. So, I won't go through the whole thing, but basically, that's how it works. As you see, this goes up some more. So, on this round, on the who was the first president, George Washington, I didn't get it right. So, as you see, the score is zero. But, I've gotten Willis Tower right the for five times, so now the color is to green. Alright, so guys, this is just a quick run through of an application called Genius. I hope you, um, hope you like this application. Hope you like the video. If you're a first time viewer, go ahead and comment, rate, tell us how you like the videos, and go ahead and subscribe. Alright, the link to the download of this application is in this side, guys. There will be more videos coming very, very soon. This is Scooter at Macintosh Tips. Hope you enjoyed. Peace.